Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 101. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to start stop DB2 instance without using DB2 start command. So in other words, what are alternate ways of starting the DB2 instance? So the, the scenario, this uh, slide talks about the problem scenario. We want to uh, know how to start stop the db2 instances without using the db2 start command in other words uh, What are alternate ways of starting the db2 instance? So the solution there are two solutions. So one is to use the auto start instance feature But there is no stop feature like you cannot uh, when, when the system comes down basically when you shut down the uh, OS the instance is automatically going to come down but when when you start the system or reboot the uh, Linux OS or uh, AX OS like that so you can use the auto start instance feature so for that you can use the command db2 i auto hyphen on and followed by that you can give the instance name it is just going to update the registry variable uh, db2 auto start to s yes. so that is one one feature the second uh, way or uh, alternate way of doing the same auto start or uh, uh, functionality uh, is to use the fault monitor to start stop the instance you can use the db2 fm command to configure that and uh, it is a resilient feature against instance crash so uh, additionally uh, so if you use fault monitor uh, additionally with the auto start instance feature you will be getting the uh, like the resilient feature also so if so, if for some reason the uh, instance is crashing down then uh, you can easily the fault monitor will start the instance for you it will not uh, allow the instance to be down okay so that is the uh, scenario these two features are independent of each other so you can you can use them uh, accordingly to your requirement as usual let's look at the example so here i am going to uh, show you first let me show you like what what things are there in in the system so i just booted the system so you can see that i'm, I'm just trying to show you what are all the process uh, that are there which is using the db2 command so you can see that there is one db2 fmcd fault monitor control daemon so this should be running so either you are using the auto start feature or you are using the fault monitor feature the db2 fmcd should be running up and running then only all these functionalities will work so as of now the instance is not started there is no db2 cc process okay and uh, what you can do is basically su hyphen db2 inst1 db2 inst1 so you can set db2 i auto hyphen on uh, db2 inst1 so what this will basically do is okay um, i think it's a case sensitive so i have to use small <clears throat> okay so this will basically set the registry variable db2 auto start yes okay so you can see that here db2 auto start yes and after that i have to restart the system right so you so I, right now the recording is going on but i, I will not do a restart of the system so in, instead i just uh, switch it off okay so this, this is how it works so you can see that yeah it's it's gone so it's basically setting up that registry the command db2 i auto uh, then you can use it as an auto start feature but you need to restart your system okay that is the thing uh, now the second functionality is configuring the fault monitor so for configuring the fault monitor is very easy so the first step that you need to do is use the db2 fm command hyphen i db2 so db2 fm hyphen i the instance name and hyphen s the hyphen s will give me the will give me the try to give me the status so it is installed but not alive so it, it's not running so we have to configure that so for that db2 fm i instance hyphen f on okay so this is the command that i will use so once i run this command basically what it is doing is it is going to just update this registry file okay so there is a registry file inside the home instance home directory sqllib uh, fault monitor dot machine name dot reg so in that file you can see that the fm fault monitor on yes so which means that we have we have configured so it updates the registry only so you can see that if i if i issue probably ps hyphen let me just issue the command ps hyphen af pipe grab hyphen i 
sorry, pair by FM E D D two. So still the FM C D daemon is only running. Okay, the fault monitor daemon is still not running. Okay, so we have just set the registry variable. So after that, what I can do is <coughs> I can use the same command to activate. Okay, so this this one also we are doing doing db2 fm hyphen i instance and hyphen a on. Okay, let me clear. So once these two are done, you can see in the registry file both the fm on is also s and fm active that particular thing is also yes now again i need to restart the system then automatically the instance will restart the fault monitor daemon will also restart so otherwise if you don't want to restart the system so what i can do is i can just say db2 fm hyphen i db2 inst1 hyphen f u like that so capital uh, uppercase u so which means i am going to bring up the daemon okay so oh, sorry um so hyphen u like that db2 fm yeah this is a command uh, sorry about the incorrect thing okay so now you should be able to see uh, okay see now you can see the fm cd this is the controller daemon this should always be running so this is the specific thing that we have uh, um, configured so db2 fmd this is the fault monitor daemon for this particular instance inst1 and you can see it has started the sysc process with the process id 20177 now i can say sudo kill hyphen 9 uh, 20177 okay 20177 so what this will do is this is going to kill my db2 instance right you can see that the db2 cc process is gone now okay there is no db2 cc process it is very clear okay now after some time it should yeah see now it again came back see db2 cc process again came back with a different id 20874 because the fault monitor is running so whenever some instance crash happens the instance will be automatically started even if, uh, when a, when a smooth uh, restart of the uh, ax machine or linux machine or uh, db2 server whichever you are running when you restart the os the instance will also start and so this is going to be specific to instance so uh, for every each and every instance you need to configure this so even for auto start or fault monitor you need to configure for each and every instance so that is uh, the tip that i have uh, provided in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel youtube.com/db2luwacademy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye